Hey, welcome to the show. Today on the show, we're going to be doing a little bit of division with a double digit number. But don't worry, we're going to take it easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy, step by step. But before we do that, I got a question to ask you there, Lucas. Do you know why seagulls go across the sea or fly across the sea? No, maybe because they migrate? Well, maybe migrate, but if they went across a bay, they would be called bagels. <laughs> Get it? Bagels? Yes. All right. I was just testing out the markers. Just testing out the markers. Okay. All Making right. Sure don't, uh, now, we're, we're, we're dealing with some big numbers here. Bring your chair in a little closer there, okay. Lucas. We're, we're dealing with some big numbers. We have to take 996 and divide it by 26. And I was the one that made the problem. He made the problem. So right now I need to figure out, can I put 26 into 9? No. Cannot do it. Can I put 26 into 99? No. Y yes, you can. Oh. Yes, you can. So now I got to figure out how many times can I put 26 into 99? So what we could do, a little mental math, is pretend like 99 is 100 and 26 is like 25. So I know I could put 25 into 100 four times and it's, that's not going to fit there. So let's try the number three. So right now, do you know how to, do you want to multiply the 26 times three? Or do you want me to do it? You. All right, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to put 26 right here times 3. So what is 6 times 3, Lucas? Uh, it's 18. 18? All right, so I'm going to put the 8 here. And then the next number. What is 3 times 2? 3 times 2 equals 6. 6 plus the 1? 6 plus 1 equals uh, seven. Seven. Sent from Hammond. So this is 70, 78. So I'm going to put the 3 right here right above that nine, because I'm dealing with this number right here, okay? Mm -hmm. So nine times 26 is 78, and I'm gonna use subtraction now, all right? We're gonna use subtraction. One. Nine, my, oh my goodness, he's, he's way ahead of me. Nine minus eight, put a nice small one, not a crazy one right there. Nine. And what is nine minus seven? Two. Two, dose, two. All right, um, let me make that a little bit darker there. Yeah. So. Now, I can't put 26 into 21, so now I'm going to take the next number and I'm going to drop it down. Just drop it down. <laughs> Can you put the 6 right there for me? All right, a nice 6. All right, let me make that 6 a little darker. I'm going to drop things. Now, I'm starting all over, all right? What times, six, what times 26 equals 216? So, I kind of have to just do a little guessing. I know it's not going to be four. It's, it's bigger than four. Let's guess. Ten. Let, oh my goodness. If it was 10, two, 26 times 10 would be 260. Drop it down. Let's try eight. All right. So 26 times eight. All right. It was close though. It was very close. Eight times six is 48. All right. What is eight times two? Eight times two, 16. 16. 16 plus four. Um, let me do some 16 plus 4 is 20. 20. All right, 200. so we have 20. So we have 208. I don't think we're going to get any uh, closer. I think we hit the jackpot. So I'm going to go ahead and put 8 right here. So 8 times, we're using multiplication, 8 times 26 is 208. And now my next step is to use subtraction. Okay. Oh, I, I can't take 8 from 6. I need to use that borrowing we learned way back in uh, second or third grade. Well, so second. Oh, second grade. And it's the only number there. It's the only number there. So I'm going to cross out that one, make it a 0, put a 10 over there. 16 minus 8, what is it? Uh, it is... Don't be late. 16 minus 8? 9. <laughs> one less, one less. <laughs> eight. 8. 16 minus 8 is 8. Zero minus zero, take your time, take your time. It's zero. Zero. Remember to face, the, our, our, yeah. our, our viewers are over there. And two minus two is zero. We don't need to put in zero. Really don't. Just erase that. I can't go any farther. 26 cannot go into eight. Just can't go. It, it, we're done. We're done. It can go to 38. But we have to use that as a remainder. So I'm going to put a little R up here. Remainder eight. There's our answer. You ready to try one more? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. All right, welcome back. Hey, I got another joke for you. Why aren't koalas bears? I don't know. 
because they don't meet the qualification. <laughs> All right, here. Uh, we got to figure out how many times we can put 14 into 1,298. Can I put 14 into 1? No. Can I put 14 into 12? No. Can I put 14 into 129? Kind of. Kind of. All right. Um, how many times do you think I could put 14 into 129? Um, nine. Nine. All right. That's a good guess because if it was 10, it would be 140 and that's too high. We got to bring it down. Unless it was the hundreds. Uh, if, if, yes, that would be a good, good guess. So nine times four is? Um, nine times four. Let me do my math. He's doing his math right now. It is 63. The other way. Yeah. Oh. 36. 36. 36. He's doing that finger trick there. 36. So we have a six down here, three up here. Nine times one is? Um, nine times one is nine. Plus the three? 11. Plus the three? 12. 12. <laughs> and so we put the nine right here because we're dealing with this number here. So nine times 14 is 120. Six and now we're gonna do subtraction. All right, so all right, my math ninja. If you can see my shirt, I am a math ninja. Um, go ahead. Uh, nine minus six is. Um, nine minus six. Let me do my math. Math. It is nine six is three. Three. All right. So you can go ahead and write a three right there. Okay. His. <laughs> His whiteboard marker just exploded. <laughs> I better go ahead and do that for you. Uh, Mom is going to get really mad because you're going to have that all over your shirt. Um, why don't you take a different marker? That one's going in the trash. Um, you're witnessing it live right now. It, show the audience. Your whiteboard marker just came out and exploded all yeah, over the place. Really okay. <laughs> it's stuck now. All right. The, the teachers are probably saying, get on with the video. Okay, okay, okay. Can I put... All right, can I put 14 into 3? You can't do it, can you? I need to drop that next number down. So can you just bring that next number down? I'll do a little beatbox for you. Um, I don't have this. He doesn't have a marker. Come on I now. I have this marker. Okay. It's not really good. Bring that 8 down. <laughs> Dropping it down in the 8. Oh, I like that 8. That's pretty cool. Can you, can you see that? All right. Oh. All right, we're going a little crazy here today. It's a Friday and we're ready to get, get going home here. Yay. How many times can I put 14 into 38? Um, what, can... what would be 14 times 2? What is 14 plus 14? Um, 14 plus 14 equals 28. 28? And I think that's going to be good enough. Good enough. I'm just, I just want to check you. He's saying it's good enough. Let me see. 14 times 3 would be, this is a 12, carry the 1, 3, 4, too high. He guessed it. He hit the jackpot on two. So two times 14 is 28. And so don't, don't put the remainder yet. Put the 28 right here. It's getting low. All right. Yeah. You, now make sure that our friends at home can see that there. It, oh my goodness. He's been drawing a big two. <laughs> put the subtraction. Eight minus eight is zero. zero. I hope you can see that. And you got a one. This is going to be our remainder. If you, <laughs> I don't think they can even see you right now. Okay, I'm going to try to look at this. Okay, can you, can you go ahead and put the remainder up here, Lucas? If you can't see, it's 10. It's 10. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Our show is going crazy today. We have the answer of 92 with a remainder of... A gigantic 10. Hey, I hope you're making math fun, and I hope you're having fun out there. Um, and make sure your whiteboard markers don't explode. Yeah, make sure your whiteboard markers don't explode. Okay, um, hey, our screen actually, <laughs> our screen has actually gone, uh, our battery and our camera just died. So we're having one of those days. Um, but I hope you're having a fun time, and I hope you're making yeah. math fun. And make sure you wait, it, make sure you, Whiteboard markers don't explode. Yes, our whiteboard marker exploded. We had to throw that away. I hope he didn't get any on his t-shirt. We are ready to go home. Um, I'd sure appreciate it. Hit that likey button down there. Um, I don't know where it is. We don't know where it is. I think it's up there. It's, <laughs> it's up there. Or Please there. Uh, hit subscribe. Leave a comment. We just love to uh, read your comments. Um, let us know how we did on the show. Um, and uh, anything else, Lucas? Uh, 
time now. No? All right. And, and maybe tell us what you're going to be doing this weekend. So, hey, I, I hope you're having a good day out there, and we'll talk to you have later. Have a good Easter. Give it, have a good Easter. Okay, adios. Goodbye.